Hello loves, it's me, it's Queen All Set Her Room, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, pass it on to somebody else who might like it as well, and please drop us a positive comment in the comment section. So today we're going to take a look at my favorite independent deck. Now, this independent tarot deck is so independent that I didn't even know it was on the market. I had never heard of it. It's called the Black Lives Matter Tarot. I had never heard of it. I had never even, even come close, okay? So, I was in a Facebook group. I'm in this Facebook group called Supportive Tarot. It's run by a woman named Lisa Pepez. And Lisa has a Facebook group, an Instagram page, and a YouTube channel. She's a reader and she reviews decks. And I love her deck reviews. So I joined her group and every week she gives us an opportunity to trade and buy decks from each other. Well, this week, somebody, or last week, or week before, <laughs> within the last few weeks somebody posted this deck for sale and i was like what black lives matter because everybody that knows me knows i'm very afrocentric i love my culture no disrespect to anybody else's culture or lone lack of love for, for other people's cultures actually i love cultures in general but when you have a culture um you have a history with a group of people and it is different than your history with other groups of people. So I do love things that are African culture centered, African, Afrocentric, African American, those kind of things I really do tend to enjoy, especially the artwork. So when I saw it, I was like, I'm getting this because I've never seen this before. So I snatched it. Well, in the meantime, between snatching it and now, I have found the creator and after I do this video, underneath the video, I'm going to put, put his email address because the only way to get this deck is to hit him up directly and he will, he'll hook you up. <laughs> he'll print you your own copy. So let me show you these cards. As you can see, it comes in a very plain looking box. Nothing special, no frills. I do like the little window here, though. Um, that, I think, is really cool. Let me get the cards out. So, the first thing that you're going to notice is that the back of the each card says Black Lives Matter. These cards, I'm going to show you every one, but they are not in order because I've been using them a lot. <laughs> a lot. They've held up very well. I've used them like 16 times since I got them. The card stock is a pretty decent one. Uh, it's a little shine, as y'all can see, not too glossy. It is a thin not too thick, not too paper thin. It reminds me of the card stock from um, the modern Spellcasters Tarot. That's what it reminds me of. So if you have that one or um, something that's similar to that, that is the card stock. So I'm going to show you each and every card. The first card here is the Hermit. And I really love this hermit, even though you can't see him. And it's definitely based on a Rider Waite system, but it's not traditional Rider Waite, obviously, because you can't see everything of the hermit, but you can see his lantern and that the hermit is by himself. I really love these cards. Um, they look to me, and me and the, the girl that sold it to me were trying to figure this out, but they look like, I don't know if they're paintings i can't really tell i can't tell if they're paintings because to me that's what they look like they look like paintings of a picture that's what it looks like to me um so i don't know if that's what it is but that's the idea that she and i came up with like okay maybe that's what it is here is the three of pinnacles again you have the pinnacles you have the rider weight um traditional some some of the traditional things in the picture just very much reimagine so this is a beautiful deck um look at this y'all look at this queen of 
a uh, night night the knight of swords she reminds me of homegirl from black panther does she remind you of her that's who that reminds me of um i think this deck came out i don't know if it was before or after black panther I have to look up the date but that's who she reminds me of with that spear gorgeous i love the way she looks so as you can see this deck is um very african centered um but it's just gorgeous this is a snippet the world is a snippet of the i have a dream speech i used to read this to my daughter so i thought that was cool like the the, the hope that the world will one day rise up and treat each other like human beings basically is the bottom line check out the Harold font I love him. He looks like an old Rastaman, <laughs> which is probably exactly what he is. Because in every major city, you have um, Rastafarians. And there are usually some elders among them. And that's usually what they look like. They usually have that traditional locked, you know, long locked hair. And it's usually kind of like, you know, a silver or gray. And they walk around and talking about the teachings of Ja. So it's very interesting that he would be the Hierophant. I love it. Great depiction. Now here is the Nine of Swords. And as you can see, we're following a great deal of that Rider Waite Smith. Um, but it just has its own twist on it. Look at the Knight of Cups. So she has her cup. It's a woman instead of a man. And in the back of her, they are obviously protesting. I could see the Knight of Cups protesting. The Knight, as a matter of fact, I'm the Knight of Cups. Now that I think about it, I get the Knight of Cups for my birth uh, tarot card, and I get it a lot when I draw for myself. And I protested for many, many years. So definitely, the Knight of Cups does protest. Yes, she does. Now here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. And as you can see, each person is African-American or African uh, or some type of, of African descent, I would really say. And um, I just love it. And it's not just p politics, as you would imagine, because Black Lives Matter is all about politics and, you know, political change, you know. But... These are, they got a lot of political messages in here, definitely, but also you see a lot of just everyday African-American, African life, um, just chilling. Look at him. He's just, he lost some of his cups, you know, he still got two, but he is, look at the background, like he's just standing by the river somewhere, you know, could have just came from a protest or something, but we don't know. It's just him, you know, walking by the river. Now, this one is very intense. Look at this, guys. Look at that. These are the names of a bunch of people, people of African descent, who've been murdered in the United States by the police. Uh, Breonna Taylor, her case is still being heard. Um, and some of these are other famous cases. And the picture is George Floyd. Now... Those of you who remember, George was murdered right before the coronavirus really exploded. He was murdered by the police. And this is the actual picture of him dying. And it is representational of the death card. When I saw that, I was like, oh my God, that really took me. That really, really took me. So as you can see, they made, um, the creator of this deck made a lot of beautiful creative choices and a lot of intense ones. Um, that death card is probably my favorite death card of all time. So, and um, look at this beautiful woman, the Empress. A lot of these creative, like I said, these choices are really on point. This is the Two of Wands. And, um... Again, very right or weight, but we have a, you know, a man and it's usually a man, but he's not usually wearing modern clothes. So it's also, you know, that idea of right or weight Smith, 
but you have the modernization of some of these cards. So we got the Six of Wands here. Now take a look at this Tower card. Where do you, you guys see this? Now that's powerful. I saw them burning down all kinds of buildings on the news uh, during the George Floyd incident. Really during every riot I've ever seen, there has been some type of a fire. And I was like, now that's, that's something, man. Isn't that something? I love how the devil is the hate group. Because they are definitely the devil. The exact opposite of coming together. Forgiveness, compassion, love. The exact opposite. Perfect representation for the devil card. Now this is... <laughs> With the girls. How many? I love that. And they look so young. Isn't that beautiful? Young and happy. Remember being young and happy and outside playing with your friends on a summer's day when you're out of school? That's what that reminds me of. Those summer vacations with my girls. Riding our bikes. Getting ice cream from the ice cream truck. Oh, he looks like he ready to he ready to go. <laughs> he is ready to go. He's definitely a warrior. The Ace of Swords. Very traditional Ace of Swords. I like it. I like it a lot. This one is really adorable. The message that she has. Very, very deep message for such a baby, such a child her age, seeing so many things she shouldn't have already seen, the violence behind her. None of us is free until all of us are free. Beautiful. And that's what I like about these. You have some of them that are just stunning artwork. Some of them that are just so happy. Like, look at this one. That's so happy. You got grandma. Please excuse the noise in the background. I have the porch door open. So whenever somebody rides by, you can hear them. So you have here the grandmother and the, the grandchildren and the husband and the wife. Beautiful vibration for the Ten of Pentacles. Look at grandma. So we have, um, even though this deck is African-American and African, you have diversity because you have the African-Americans, you have Africans from Africa, um, you also have ages, you have lots of different age groups in here. Um, most people in here are, everybody in here is of African descent, I think, and we'll notice that as we go through the cards. That's the most beautiful Three of Swords I have ever seen. Isn't that gorge? To me, the Three of Swords is almost never beautiful. It's always dreaded. But in that case, it's really showing beauty to me. This is my card. Uh, the Aquarius is often the, the Swords. The Queen of Swords. So that is really cool. Very serious intellectual energy comes from the Queen of Swords. She's also been through a lot. She's been through a lot of battles. This is the King of Swords. Again, that same energy, but from a more masculine standpoint. Check out the five. <laughs> Look at him. The five. Oh, my goodness. He got his swords. This is the Judgment card. So like I said, you know, you do have some very powerful images being shown here. Definitely. Definitely. Now, they look like they're from Africa. Traditional. The King of Cups is a, looks like a traditional African. It looks like the West Coast to me, like West Africa. But I can't be certain, but that's what it reminds me of. I've been to West Africa, and that reminds me. T 
Ten of Wands, heavy burdens, working hard. Check out this king here. <laughs> this is the King of Pentacles. Check him out. Like, he is on point. I like his outfit. I really love his outfit. Definitely Ryder Way Smith in the depiction, but his outfit is definitely African. Now, this is the Page of Cups. My life matters. And she's holding, I think it's a girl, she's holding her cup. Again, it, it just kills me how young they are. And it's true because when you go to protests and you go to riots, you see these poor children, you know. And a lot of people do take their kids to riots and protests. Um, I never did because I didn't think they were safe. And, they, you know, and, you know, by the violence and the cops and the tear gas and all that kind of stuff. But it's always been common for children to be at these things you know if, if kids don't know about these things it does the, the movements will die or have to be reborn every generation so a lot of people do take their children all kind of protests not just black lives matters i've seen kids at you know protests for saving the whales or breast cancer i see kids at all kinds of these events i love this i think this is beautiful look at that I've seen the sky look like that before. Not very many times, but I've seen it. And I thought this was a beautiful Eight of Wands. So you guys can see why this is my favorite indie deck. It's just gorgeous. Check out our queen. Excuse that noise. Beautiful, isn't she? Now, her outfit is serious. Where's her kitty cat? I'm surprised she doesn't have a kitty cat. The Queen of Wands almost always has a black cat. Ten of Cups, another happy family. A husband looks like a wife and two gorgeous little boys. Nice house. Man, that's a nice house. Five of Pentacles. So they are homeless on the steps of the church. Always in the Five of Pentacles, the thing that catches my eye is the church behind them. I always wonder if they're able to go get help from the church. I always wonder that. Because when I was growing up, the church was a big source. Look at that night. My goodness. The church was a big source back then of help for people who were poor. Especially, not just poor people, though. They helped people with scholarships and all kind of things. But the black church used to be a very strong fixture in the community. I don't see the same e effort anymore. I'm not sure if that's because people are not going to church. I don't know what's happening because my spiritual system has changed. But I don't see it as much. His sign says, don't shoot us. Or don't shoot, don't shoot. With two hands up. This was one of the slogans I remember for the Black Lives Matters movement. Don't shoot. Now who, ah, look at the king. He cute. Oh, he cute. <laughs> Very handsome gentleman. Okay, sir, I see you looking all good. He's a nice looking brother. Love his outfit. King of Wands. I see you. Wink, wink. I got some beautiful young ladies that will love that game. Black Lives Matter, The Hanged Man. <sighs> there was a time in the United States where a black person was lynched every few minutes. If I remember, the summer of 1912 was called the Red Summer. It kills me how people act like, you know, racism is over and there is no racism and there is no oppression when stuff like this was just happening and still happens today. They still find people hanging, people of color specifically hanging from trees. And it's all, oh, he committed suicide. Imagine that. 
definitely not a suicide. I don't think very many people will go commit suicide in public. According to psychologists, most people commit suicide. <laughs> All lives matter is the fool. I love it. <laughs> I love it. We know all lives matter. It's just that certain ones <laughs> are not treated that way. That's the point. Uh, Ace of Cups. Look at that. I like that. It looks like some type of African... It looks it looks like a statue, but the the head of it is open, which makes me think of the crown chakra being open. So I like that a lot. I've seen statues like that that were open, and people have plants. <laughs> they put plants in them sometimes, which is kind of cool too. The two of swords. And uh, remember, I talked about diversity. Well, you have people from I'm thinking Africa. African America, the Caribbean looks like it's represented too. But you also have different colors. A lot of times, you know, look at him. He's dark brown skin. He's a little bit darker than me. A lot of times you don't see people of color of different colors. You see the lightest. They call it colorism. So some people will pick the lightest African Americans or Africans. And that's fine. You know, being light, there's nothing wrong with being light skinned. But what about everybody else? This deck has a, a color like, like he's lighter than me. You know, it's like a color, you know, it's a plethora. And he's cute. He's the emperor, him a little emperor. But it's a plethora of colors all the way from the lightest of us to the darkest of us. I like that a lot. Um, I would like to see, um, I have seen an older person. I want to, I want to see if there are more older people in here and maybe some people who were like, you know, um, in wheelchairs or amputees or people like that. I want to see some more of our diaspora represented, but I would give these cards a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I would like to see a little bit more of that, but that's the only thing I really can say about these cards. The car stock, I told you guys, I really love. I'm feeling the artwork. I'm not a border person, and these cards do have borders. I usually prefer borderless decks. Isn't that a beautiful lover's card? Um, but it works for me here. The borders could be a little smaller. The artwork could move out a little bit, but it works for me. It works for me because I can see the images very well. Look at this. Isn't she beautiful? I have this outfit. It's very similar. It's black and white and with the gray scale. I don't think I can fit it anymore. And I believe it's in storage. But I have a very similar outfit. And if I can find it and get it taken out when I go back to the States, I am going to take a picture and hold it next to this one. Because homegirl got my outfit on and I love her. Look at that two of cups. Never seen a couple more in love in my life. And if they not in love, they sure look like it. How many times have you gazed into somebody's eyes like that? That is a serious look, honey. Love this one. Page of Pentacles. We will not be silent. And he's a little bit older than the other ones we've seen. But he's still young. He got to be about 14, 15 years old. Because racism doesn't wait until you're grown <laughs> to affect you. Look at her. Sekhmet looking. Love you. Now, she looks like she comes from the Egyptian tradition. And for those of you who weren't aware, the Egyptians, the Nubians, are the ancestors of the modern-day Africans. Um, mostly sub-Saharan Africa, though, because they left Egypt. And when they left Egypt, Egypt was taken over by people from other countries, what they would have called foreigners. And Egypt was taken over. I think the Greeks came in. All kinds of different groups came in. And the Africans that were there moved on. So those are the ones who were said to be our ancestors. And this looks like a depiction of either Sekhmet or Bast. They were both known as being cat goddesses from that time. So we have representation from ancient Kemet, 
Egypt was Kemet. Kemet means the land of the blacks or the black lands. So we also have representation from our Egyptian ancestors as well. Look at him. My goodness. He looks like he's been through quite a lot. My goodness. Eight of Cups. Moving on, baby. Let's time to move on. That reminds me of that song by Meatloaf. And then you see that it's time to move on. Four of Pentacles. She like she getting her workout on. I see less of a power struggle with her and more of um more of like self-care with that one. Oh wow. Six of Pentacles, the benefactor. And see how light they are? They're more like the, the guy that's helping is definitely African American. He looks like my cousin. And he's very, very light skinned. I love that. I love the way that they have people from all different colors. Check out the moon with that African. I think he would be. That's that looks like an African lion to me. That is so cool. Love that lion in the background. Justice card. No justice, no peace. Definitely cool. I love these. I really love this. That's why this is my favorite indie deck. Look at the strength card. You see behind her the female lion? That's really cool. Change. The wheel. The wheel of fortune. My elders always gambled. They played the lottery. <laughs> The magician. The magician definitely looks African. He looks Yoruba. It looks like he might be a priest of Ifa, actually. One of the spiritual systems from Africa. That's what he looks like to me. Cool. Very cool. We're almost done. Here's the Ace of Pentacles. Very Ace. Oh, check out the star. Okay, it's, the star is also the Aquarius card, so I always notice that. The star is definitely protesting. I hope the star don't get shot, poor thing. Well, she's definitely here. She looks like it might be a she. Definitely protesting. The Ace of Wands. Look at that. Cool. Love the fire in the background. So, as you can see, these are artistically beautiful, very intense. Now, this looks like two women getting married. I can't tell, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's what that is. Let's see if we can get a little close-up on it. Yeah, one of them is definitely a woman. I can't tell by the second one, possibly. But it looks like two people getting married. Put it like that. And they look very happy about it, so... Regardless of their gender, I'm happy. <laughs> if you happy, I'm happy. The Queen of Cups. I love the Queen of Cups. I'm going to marry a Queen of Cups. I have always thought that. Always. And the Chariot. Looks like from ancient times as well. Reminds me of Ben-Hur, actually. That old movie... My mother used to watch with Charlton Heston. She loved that movie. Six of Swords. This reminds me of when people escape countries on boats. Um, you know, from different places that are they're being oppressed. It happens often. Africa, a whole bunch of places have experienced that. And they escape in a boat. There's a, a movie, I can't remember, I think it was called His House, it's on Netflix, and it's about an African family that escapes to Europe in a boat from, I think, like some war-torn country, and that's what the Six of Swords reminds me of, that movie, and those experiences of people. And I think it happens to a lot of different groups of people. I don't think the African people are the only group of people that's happened to. I've heard it coming from other cultures, too. So that might be one of those experiences that many different groups has had. The sun. Are we at our last three? 
This one is the Five of Wands, so we can see this as being either competition or games or something like that. Then we have the Three of Wands, about to make something happen. Don't know what this up that is. And then the last one is the Eight of Swords. So, guys, if you would like to get a copy of this cool deck, my favorite indie deck, I am going to post underneath here the gentleman's email. Email him, tell him that you would like a copy, and he will get back with you uh, through, with further instructions. I believe people are paying through PayPal, and um, he's mailing them the deck. I think he has to have it printed first, and then is mailing it to you. So, if interested, that's how you find it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here and checking out my favorite deck with me. And come back soon because you know I got a lot more to say. See you later.